Is Zilliqa still a good project to invest on? Is it a nice opportunity for you to enter at this level? Or is it a dead project as so many people see? I want to go and give you my opinion and my perspective on my portfolio with Zilliqa and the ecosystem and everything that it has to do with it. So without anything else to say, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about Zilliqa and what is happening with the ecosystem. And with that said, we jump straight onto the laptop and we are now over on coin market cap now we're able to go and see on coin market cap that nonetheless nonetheless that the zilica price has gone extremely down as we were to go and see here which took an even deeper dive from yesterday video at one cent point seven we are at one point six and a half cents so keeps on going down we will get to the price just in a second but we still see that no matter what it is still on the number 92 of the top 100 so it is still noticed in the top 100. We still have a nice market cap of 260 million. That is nothing compared to what it was before, but it is what it is. Compared to other cryptocurrency that I do enjoy, such as XCAD, for example, XCAD is ranked on the number 370, as we're able to go and see over here, with $1.50. So everything at time of recording this video, it is going down. Depending on when you see the video, it could be a little bit different, but we are able to go and see that the whole market it is going down today and especially starting from Bitcoin which took a dump from 16.8 to 16.6 as we just saw right here with a little pump and dump right now. So Zilliqa on the level of the price, is it done or not? Well, it depends what you see it. If you're looking for two ways, I think it is not yet over and we're able to go and see it because of the price, which it could be a nice two to three X easily on the next bull market, even at one and a half cent, or if you go and buy it at 1.4 cent or 1.3 cent, it could still easily be on the two, three, four X for the next bull market. So I wouldn't consider selling if you have bought the position before, and at this market, I keep on saying since the two cent that, you know, it is a good point to go and buy it, but it just keeps on getting lower and lower. So it depends what you want to do, how you wish to do it, and what you would like to have the coin, you would like the coin to achieve in the next bull market, which it is possible to go and have a two to three to four X without a problem. And also regarding the good side of Zilliqa, we have the continuous development of new project. Now, we have the game, which is a big, big industry, the gamification of Zillicup to bring in the new Web3 War game that we have talked about quite a lot in the channel, which they just released a Blizzard map as well. And also there is the Metapolis, which, you know, could potentially save Zillica for the long term. Now, Metapolis is on the metaverse side of things. And if we go and look at CoinMarketCap, we look at Mana, for example, which is one of the metaverse projects. It is down from, you know, year to date from $3 to $0.30 cent with a height of $5. And now it's just at the beginning, even worse than the beginning, more or less. Then we got other projects like ApeCoin, which yes, it is on a different aspect, but it's still on the metaverse. It is down at $3.62 and we have seen the all time high at $23.80. So all the metaverse, all the tokens regarding the metaverse are kind of going down. We have also Sand, which is a big, big loser in all of this with 41 cents, even though it is ranked 53. And year to date, we have from 5.8 all the way down and we did see the spike at seven. So I think the metaverse, it is a very questionable results for what the Zilliqa team wanted to achieve. But nonetheless, it could be a new opening for billions and billions of dollars of market cap, as well as new users and everything. But regarding the price, yes, we are potentially on the worst aspect. And I think we're gonna get even worse because if Bitcoin didn't finish to correct yet, we will see 14K, 13K. We will potentially see when the bottom everybody says, oh, we're going to go to 14K. So we could potentially see even worse. And if that happens, yes, XCAD will go even lower, which we do talk about in the channel. Zilliqa will go even lower. But also cryptos, for example, like Matic will go even lower for the market cap that they have. And consequentially, the price going from 70 cents potentially to 40 cents. So the price aspect of it, it is very, very bad for what Zilliqa. I thought it would recover and I thought it would be a little better. I'm not going to lie, but we are in a bear market. Everything is going down. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Matic, Xcat, Zilliqa, Sandbox, Mana, you name it. Everything is down. There's not a single project which 
has been released before the bear market started or even before the bear market started now has done a new all-time high if there is name it in the comments below but as i said the comparison with the price and the end of Zilliqa, I don't think the end of Zilliqa is anywhere near, uh, especially for the long term, we have the MetaMask announcement, which was a great, great add-on to the MetaMask uh, portfolio, which you're able to go and add the Zilliqa into the MetaMask. But at the end of the day, what is there to go and consolidate on Zilliqa? Well, the team is building, even if, for my opinion, they are a little bit shifting away from the main focus of Zilliqa, they are still building, they are still giving updates, on the game metaverse is a little bit stalled at time of recording i don't know what's happening maybe they are developing in silence but they have project coming up it's not that they just said hey we will see you at the end of the bear market let's hope and wait to see what's next no they keep on building they keep on interacting with the community uh, xcat is still building on the zilica ecosystem and is still releasing announcement even though there is the possibility for a future and continuous bear market. So I think Zilliqa is not over yet. Yes, in my opinion, it will go even lower because it has not support. We don't even see any support right now for what Zilliqa is. So I do think that it will go even lower without a doubt. But, you know, let's see where it goes. Now, it doesn't even seem to have support. We're just going lower and lower and lower. So let's go and see where this ends up. And But I think it's still, I'm no financial advisor, don't quote me on this. It could be a good buying point in my opinion, but you know, if you think it's gonna go even lower, just keep on waiting, have some USDT, some BUSD, and be ready to go and buy. So with that said, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on Zilliqa. Let me know what you think of the coin, of the future of the coin. Is there any possibility to have this even better for the future? Or is Zilliqa also in your opinion, could be a little bit done with? With that said, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, thinking about the video that I just watched, I don't want to go and scare you or anything. I do think Zilliqa, it is on the wrong-ish path, but at the same time, on the right path, because there are a lot of projects on the gamify section of it, like they're doing with the Web3 war, or the Metaverse, which could potentially lead to... I would say probably the next bull market, but we have to see how we play because we got a lot of projects. We got Facebook betting a lot on what the metaverse outcome could be. If they're still doing it, we got Mana, we got Sandbox, we got ApeCoin. So we have a lot of these projects and I don't want to scare you away. I do think that the business that they have entered, it is really nice. But I will talk in tomorrow's video about my portfolio and my position on Zilka, how much I own whether I sell it, whether I don't sell it, whether I still have it. So stay tuned for that and turn the notification bell on because I do want to go and keep you updated on everything. But I don't think you should be scared. I don't think you should be hating on Zilliqa right now. I don't think you should be even focused on the possibility of selling your Zilliqa semi because the market is so bad right now that it does not count if you need to sell on a loss. Now, potentially, if you need money, I understand that. Of course, do it. Nobody's going to stop you from selling it. But if you're selling it on a loss and you do believe or you did believe in Zilliqa, still believe in Zilliqa right now, in my opinion, to go and see how the next bull market is going to face the market situation. Because I do think Zilliqa for the next bull market, especially if they manage somehow to stay in the top 100 in the coin market cap, I think it could be a nice position to be because people are going to look at the top 100, they're going to go and buy the top 100, even smaller gens, but then the money will go into the top 100 coin market cap coins that we have seen every time on the bull market. Projects that go and skyrocket usually are very hard to see projects in the rank number 400 of all tokens to then go into the top 100. It is as simple as that. I do think that the coin market cap it is a very important signal to see if we go below or above the top 100 and for now we're still in it. So I don't think you should panic, I don't think you should be scared, I don't think you should sell, but this is no financial advisor. This is my opinion and my opinion only. Do as you wish, it's your money, your initiative. So make sure to do your research. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. Of course, I wanted to add this bit in because maybe I did scare a little bit of you, but I will tell you more on tomorrow's video. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I will see you all then. Ciao guys.